Hey everybody, Longhorn Whistler here, and today we are going to be installing Windows 2000, aka NT5, build 1515. First thing we're going to do is create the machine, so to create a new virtual machine, um, I'm just going to select typical, click next, uh, install our disk image file, select your ISO image, click next, I'm going to name my VM, so it's going to be Windows 2, uh, NT5 build 1515-video and I'm going to change my uh, location here documents virtual machines and make a new folder and that's where I'm going to keep my VM Next, I'm going to store it as a single file, click next again, then click finish. Now we're going to have to go to edit virtual machine settings. And first of all, we're going to have to re-add our hard disk. Go, disk. So uh, remove your hard disk, and then click add, and then select hard disk here. Click next, select IDE, use an existing virtual disk and then browse. Go to documents, which is where mine's at, but yours may be in a different location. And then we're going to go to virtual machines. We're going to go to our VM folder and select the VMDK. Then click finish. Next thing we need to do is add a floppy drive, which is fairly simple. Uh, then we're going to click Browse and find our Windows 98 boot disk. Click OK. And now we can boot into our virtual machine. Alright, the first thing we need to do after booting is we need to boot into our BIOS settings and change the date to 3-17-1997. And then click uh, Exit Saving Changes and press Enter. Now we're going to boot from our Windows 98 boot, boot disk. And we're going to uh, select Start Computer with CD-ROM Support. Then we're going to wait for it to boot up. And then we're going to use F-Disk. Press Enter. And we're going to use F-Disk to create our um, hard drive partitions. So, create a partition. Create a primary DOS partition. Yes. Exit. And then control insert, which will reboot the VM. And then press enter again. And then type in format C colon. We're going to select yes. This may take just a second. Then we're going to pick a volume label. I'm not going to really pick one, so there's no reason for, for me to. Then we're going to boot into our setup. So, CDI386, WNT.exe, slash B. Then we're going to press Enter after we've selected where our files are. Now it's going to copy files to my hard disk. This is going to take about five to six minutes, roughly, depending on your hard drive and where you have your VM stored. Um, yeah, so it should be done within the next few minutes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it is finished copying the files off of the DVD, so... Now we're going to shut this off because I kind of forgot to tell you something earlier. So, we need to go to Edit Virtual Machine Settings, and we need to change this to Windows NT so it does not crash on boot. And then we can power it back on and continue the setup. Um, oh, and make sure to take your floppy out too, if you 
haven't already. Then it's going to inspect our hardware configuration and do its usual thing. It's going to be really fast loading files because since they're all on the hard drive. And then this is kind of your boot screen. It eventually shows like Windows NT 5.0. Uh, and then it has like build 19 or 15 15 in parentheses and after this it should copy files pretty quickly and then it'll move on to the uh, GUI portion of the setup yep there's the uh, boot screen should load any second Fingers crossed. Do 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 waiting waiting. Okay. So we're gonna press enter to set it up. Enter again. We're just gonna press page down and then just press F eight. Press enter again. Press enter again leave it intact then tell it where you want that to be saved and then tell it where you want it to be saved and then press enter again so it's going to check the hard drives and then it's going to copy files which should only take about 30 seconds because since they're already on the hard drive it's basically just moving files so that's why it moves really really fast Then we're going to press enter. Uh, hopefully I can remove the floppy drive. No, nope, that didn't happen, but I can reboot it. Okay. Then we're going to boot into workstation 5.0. There's that boot screen again, except without the whole kernel debugger thing that it had in the uh, setup. This build is a pretty early build. I think it's one of the first that Beta Archive even has. Because the one that's earlier than that is actually like a Windows 2000 build. Like it says Windows 2000 in the branding. So. Okay. Setup as an initializing. So that means it's working. Okay. Next. Typical. And then put in your name and organization if you have one click next computer name i'm going to do nt1515-vm-1 and then enter a password and you can choose to cre either create an emergency repair disk or not to i'm just going to choose not to because it does not do me any good to do that I'm going to install the most common component, and we're going to start the networking setup. I'm going to select a wired network. Then it should show up. Uh, an AMD Ethernet adapter should so show up, this one. And then just select that, and then click Next. Uh, TCP IP protocol. And then it's going to install the adapter and start networking. Okay, it's starting networking. Let's see how long this takes, because I have no idea. Okay. So, if you want to join this to a domain, it can't join really any modern domain. Like, it can't join a server 2012 or server 2016 or server 08 uh, domain. So, you'll have to do something that's 2003 or lower. Um, yeah, so anything under server 2003 should work. Otherwise, you're gonna have to choose a work group. So then click next, and then click finish. And this shouldn't take extremely long. Okay, then we need to set our time zone at an Eastern time, then close. If you try to change this, it's going to basically fail. I have tried this multiple times, and this is basically what it does. So, there's really no point in messing with it. 
So just click OK. It's continue. It's going to continue copying more files. And pretty soon, something will show up telling me that it wants me to restart the computer in kind of a Windows NT uh, 4.0 style uh, stream. Because I don't, if you're familiar with the Windows NT 4 setup or the Windows 95 setup, it has this restart computer button that kind of looks like it's from Windows 3.1 because of the size of the button and um, the icon. It's actually fairly uh, interesting, but then again, a large portion of the Windows 95 setups that way. So, you know, but still waiting. This is taking a lot longer than I'd like. I'd like it to. Where are you, buddy? Hmm? Yes, I talk to my computer quite often, by the way. Okay, it's finally finishing the final steps. Removing temporary files, and here we go. This is the uh, kind of screen I was talking about. Notice how that kind of looks like a really old, like, style. And then the button's kind of huge. So, we're going to restart our computer and boot into the operating system. Which is going to take just a second here. Windows NT5. It's a good old boring boot screen, right? And here we are. Control inserts, enter your password. And when it logs in, it's going to give you all these driver uh, things. So, ACPI.sys, that's actually pretty important. I might want to do something about that. Just give me just a second here. Let's see if it'll let me in here. No, nope, it's not. Okay, so skip file. Alright, and then for most of these, you're going to want to select do not install driver. Do not click on X and do not click on cancel because that will give you a be uh, blue screen of death. So do not install driver. Do not install the driver. Do not install a driver. You're probably going to do this quite a few more times. This is pretty obnoxious, not going to lie. But when is it ever going to end? Okay. No, I don't want to restart my computer. Let's see what happens when we restore the desktop wallpaper. I have not done that yet. Internet Explorer 4.0 Platform Preview. Best Browser, Complete Communication and Collaboration, Personal Delivery of Information, True Web Integration. Interesting. So we'll go to Properties, let's see what our desktop background choices are like. That one's a better shape, because it's 256 colors. Of course, I can't get to the stupid uh, enter button very easily. And the restore desktop wallpaper won't work. So, there's a couple of things different about this build. Um, this directory folder, for example, and the background of the Explorer um, windows. And then this log off icon's a bit different. Um, settings wizards, that's something new. And that's, that's kind of the gist. Um, there's some other things that are different too. Like if we go to uh, my computer, it has these new sidebars that actually look pretty awesome for that time. So, heh, free space, 0 .009 kilobytes. It's horrible. 
and then a, bu a little bit of a bug with this build um, you click on something once it double clicks for you so you kind of got to be careful with that just in case you you know accidentally click on something and mess something up and then it has the address bar here it's kind of a different looking explorer it's not the same as uh, Windows NT4 and it's got this desktop button too, the show desktop button similar to what we have um, in like Windows today where we have the show desktop button down here but I th if I remember, it later ended up being removed for reasons I don't know about. But all right, thank you for watching and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and uh, dislike if you dislike the video. Like it if you liked it, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.